hello everyone it's me a seven if welcoming you to my new illustrator tutorial and today i'll show you this type of golden ratio type logo design and hope that all are safe in a safe place and at home as well so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications and if you are already subscriber please hit the like button and share with your friends at first going to the file and taking new and taking artboard which is 20 2000 pixel by 2000 pixel and giving the name q logo and hit the create button and after that i will take a thing or like a rectangle grid tool and giving the grid like that so after that double click over here and select all the panels like these portions and making it deduce one box like that and after that i'll draw a couple of circles over here and uh, using the shape builders tool to make the logo fulfill going to the ellipse tool and drawing a circle like this so make sure that the circle is uh, just join with the lines where uh, if you go to the view portion and turn off the snap to pixel it will help you out to make this one properly align with the lines so here this portion that's good and other side should be aligned properly so after that make copy ctrl c and ctrl f making it bigger according to this one and another copy ctrl c and ctrl f making another copy of this okay nice and now i'll uh, make copy another uh, portions from here press, press the alter option button and then just join over here and join with that so this portion nice okay now i'll select all the things and control or command y make sure that all the portion is properly join with each other otherwise we'll be unable to cut them out from into another so make sure that all the circles are properly aligned and join with the lines so you have to define that things and make sure that that are aligned and join with each other so after that select all the things and then go to the shape builder tool shift m for the shortcut key and i'll make the shape this one so be careful when you are uh, adjusting those portions so this one is one portion and another one is c so making c portion like this so be careful when you are making the shapes are uh, like that so here this portion and this portion as well so you can make it as well okay now i'll give the color from the color palette like a fill color like this blue color and here and here nice and select these two things actually this one is uh, grouped you have to ungroup that things select here and here make it separate and delete this portion okay after that i'll work with this one and turn off the stroke okay fine and taking another rectangle actually circle and that is the like gray color or black color like that and then you have to change the color so this one making it group and then making it yellow color that's good and make it smaller little bit smaller and like this okay selecting these uh, things and key subject and making the alignment properly in the middle and keeping this one over here or uh, then make uh, like a shadow so how to do that so make shadow like that so how to do select this one and press the alter option button and shift button and making the 45 degree like that and here you have to make another copy ctrl c and ctrl f and then i'm just moving this one and i'll take care of these two things go to the like blend tool select once here and once here 
and then select uh, double click in a, in a blend tool and specified space and making it 300 or 200 which one is convenient for you that's good and hit ok and then change the color if you need you can change the color and other stuffs so i'll make the opposite down actually from here here is the options you have to make it like opposite will be like that so select over here and this will be a shadow and now another uh, like um, bigger ellipse tool like this so making it here and giving the color which is the yellow color that's good and it will be prominent and then you can make it a little bit smaller like this yeah that's fine and this one make another copy ctrl c and ctrl f and making it in upper side and select this shadow and making it clipping mask and after that i'll making it in a lower portion and this one in a lower portion of the layer okay then if you need to change the shadow uh, like a uh, prominent or dim you can do that okay the shadow is like that that's good or you can uh, like make it like this so how to do that you have to change the color it will be work with that so i'm making it uh, like ash color like this and this one i'm making it like yellow color and the middle one will be like this okay fine now what will be the shadow so shadow you have to make the size increase or you can change the uh, color of the uh, wheel or the circle you can make it a little bit ash color okay and yeah that's good and you have to make now the opposite down you can blend it out how to blend it out here is the transparency options and make it multiply and now we can change the opacity so now this one is the shadow like that and prominent things and everything is nice and now i'll make a rectangle in a lower portion or lower layer yeah i'm giving the color that is yellow color so you're getting this type of logo easily you can make it out so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend this one is a golden ratio logo if you have any kind of question query or request please do comment on my video comment section and don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon every day 7 pm you are getting the tutorials in this channel so stay safe stay at home until the next video i may see when i'm signing out today bye bye